I'd like to call the Development Review Board meeting for October 2nd to order. October 1st. Or, uh, yeah, October 1st. Getting ahead of ourselves. <laughs> um, first meeting, uh, first item on our agenda is the minutes from our last meeting. I'll make a motion to approve. I'll second it. All those in favor? There. Or no, we need to and you guys are going to abstain. Yeah. Um, and I should say before we get started, I can't believe we didn't do this. But you guys all met each other before yeah. we got started. We do have two new board members. I want to thank um, Mr. Daniel Murray and Mr. Robin Outwater for joining us. Um, as you, as uh, folks who've been watching us recently, you know we were always kind of inching towards not having a quorum because we had a few folks uh, leave and um, take up jobs out of the out of town. Um, so welcome aboard, folks. Thank you very much for for uh, volunteering. And um, it's great to see you. So um, that's Daniel Murray and Robin Alwater. You'll see a lot more of them going forward. Um, <clears throat> next item on our agenda, I'm going to dispense with we normally read the witness oath, but since we don't have the applicant here this evening and this will likely be a continuance, um, I'm going to dispense with that unless, unless, um, unless he does come okay. before we, we move on. Um, I would ask if there's any uh, ex parte communications or conflicts of interest regarding. Uh, the uh, hearing this evening, seeing none, okay, great. Uh, we do have one um, application before the board this evening. It was a continuance from the last meeting. Uh, the board had requested some additional information and I had uh, spoken with the applicant. Uh, he does not have that information at this time and uh, would be uh, seeking a, a continuance for at least one more time to our next meeting on the 15th. Uh, that that applicant, applicant Application is Bradley Roy at 1124 Harwood Hill. Um, he is seeking approval for agricultural equipment sales on this property. Uh, given that Mr. Roy is not here this evening and there is no additional information from Mr. Roy, it would be appropriate for continuance. I have noted that, um, I do note that the, uh, one of the neighbors have, has submitted some information which we can review at the next meeting when uh, Mr. Roy is here and they may have some additional information as well. But Question, Dan. Sure. How many times can it be continued before you have to drop it? So it actually can be continued indefinitely up to this board. <laughs> However, what we're, our, our practice has been in the past, if it's two or three times, and there's not really a good reason uh, to continue continuing, <laughs> uh, what we will often do is, is deny the application without prejudice, without prejudice. So, the, okay. so the individual can reapply, yeah. rewarn, Go through the notice yeah. process, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah. So Thank you. Um, that's typical for us. Although it hasn't happened in a really, really long time. <laughs> is he providing a site plan? Is that the um, so as you if as you'll see that that was the request of the yeah. board was to provide a more detailed site plan as well as to either uh, obtain a commercial access permit from the state or get a written indication that, that a commercial access permit is not required. Um, I understand that those communications have begun. Um, but that there hasn't been um, either a new permit or communication from the state regarding that. Um, so we'll have to uh, wait and see uh, what, what's, what's uh, submitted for the next meeting. But uh, the recess memo was clear of what the, what the board had hoped to get for additional information before they could make a final decision. Do we have anything else for the next meeting? At this point, no. Maybe it'll be something. So I think this will be yeah. maybe a, for the next meeting as well. Okay, so uh, what's the board's uh, make a motion? Um, well, one, one question, Dan. Seeing how the, they've come to the meeting, should we give them an opportunity to, to speak or not? Sure, I, I think that's appropriate, although usually you'd like the applicant here if any questions are brought up so the applicant could answer them. But um, if you folks felt you wanted to speak this evening, we'd certainly appropriate. Okay. No? no? Okay. No new information. No new information. Thank you. Okay. All right. I'll make a motion to uh, continue it to the next meeting. Oh, second. All those in favor? Yeah. Good. Okay. So five foot two. Wow. Okay. Great. Um, unless there is any other business, you guys know what to do. Uh, I make a motion to adjourn. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, I, I got a question. Another question for you. Other business? There yeah. Uh, other business. Different business. Yeah. yeah. Sort of. I think I read in the banner where the uh, select board and or the administration is thinking about uh, for appointees 
to check their qualifications before they're, before they're appointed. Is that correct? Well, so or different boards are starting to approve it. Yeah, so what the, what the request from the banner was, the, 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 the request from the banner was that the select board collect some basic biographical information to, to give to the banner when someone is appointed. Um, has not been discussed at the select board level yet on how, whether or not they think that they're going to want to have some formal collection. Yeah, the well, where I read it, they want to know their qualifications, not just the biographical stuff. And, but yeah, else? I don't. I know that at least the, at least the chairperson has has expressed the desire to keep the process as as simple as possible, so that folks don't feel intimidated about applying, so they don't <coughs> feel like they have to fill out a resume or application or something. So, but that will be maybe discussed at the board if they they want to more, make it more formal process okay. for uh, application. Um, We'll have to see what, where that goes. Just one on official opinion. No, I, 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 all I can tell you is what they're considering. Um, yeah. I lean towards trying to keep it as informal as possible so yeah. anybody can feel comfortable applying. Right. I also could understand, you know, folks want to know, hey, who's that guy or gal, you know, who's appointed? So, we'll see. I thought the qualification was a live body. <laughs> Basically. <laughs> I don't know. We've been, seen a lot of competition for boards. <laughs> there was a lot of competition for these seats. Well, it was. Yeah. I and think we had five or watch six. Watch out. We're going to get pushed out. That's okay. <laughs> so watch out. People are coming for you. I'll get fired again. <laughs> yeah, but when they hire me back, it's worth it. A lot of money. <laughs> yeah, you've been out and in one time. Dan, where uh, I served before, we tried to do a geographic distribution. Yep. So if we had too many people in one neighbor, we were looking for people from all over the town. And if somebody was interested and they really didn't have as good credentials, but they were, and we didn't have anybody from there, we were really interested in that person. Oh, how was the population of that community? It was about um, 30,000 when I left. Mm -hmm. Twice but it was bank. when I served, began to serve on the board, it grew tremendously. Yeah. It was about uh, watch 20. <laughs> well, I mean, the select board has complete and total discretion about who they appoint. So, and they don't, as of now, they don't have any specific policies about any of those types of issues. Well, it wasn't strict. It was just, we need to be represented. We would tell the, the board, hey, you know, we don't have anybody from over there. We don't know what's going so on. So geographic balance. Geographic balance, yeah. Thank you, good word. <laughs> right back on that. Right. So, yeah, yeah, big word, I think I paid for that. <laughs> Any other business this evening? Uh, I can't figure out how to get my email up. Okay, so <laughs> I, I'm glad you brought that up. I should have brought that up. So I, I would ask anybody who is having trouble, which would include me when I first set mine up, to email or call Nick Cave. He all he knows that he expects all of you to call all right. and and help get set up. I know that Robin and Daniel already had the pleasure of meeting with Nick and you guys got connected, oh, correct? Awesome. Yep. yep. So it can be done. <laughs> and good. Nick's the guy and he, he's expecting phone calls or emails from you and he can do he can set you up over the phone or in the office, whatever works for you guys. Why are we doing this? Um, so modern technology. Yeah, so um, what it's become it's a policy of the select board that all board members have a uh, town of Bennington uh, address. Really? Yeah. Yep. That way, you guys don't have to worry about using your personal emails for communications from me, et cetera. Oh, our secrets in there. Well, we don't want to be reading this. Okay. But I think it's, you guys, it's a little different because you're a quasi judicial board. You're not going to be getting input from the public, per se, right. so. except at meetings mm -hmm. or in written form uh, that's submitted to the entire board. Yeah. Uh, so, you know, something different, like the Planning Commission and the Select Board, obviously, they it's appropriate for them yeah. to yeah. hear communications from the community. But you guys are essentially judges that need to limit your, um, yeah, but, your review. Of but I was, I was, I, I have had personal people call me who I don't really know who want information, yep. and I have referred them to you. Yep, and that's but the right second, thing. I have, a, I have a concern. Yep. I thought mm -hmm. I was on time, and my clock says I was on time, and that clock says I'm late. The clock's fast. The clock's very fast. All right. Well, <laughs> all right. <laughs> we started right at. 6.30, so you must- And you had a quorum. You must so have got here at 6.30 and- Two, two, two minutes, yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you for the reminder about the email. So I, I forgot about it already. 
All right. Um, make a motion to adjourn. You got it. Thank you. Uh, all in favor? Thanks, everybody.